Hello friends, Seymour here with another video and the subject of this video is dangerous facts about Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian women. Uh, for all practical purposes and for our purposes and your purposes there aren't much noticeable difference, negligible if any, between the three. Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian, they're the same, believe me, especially for the purpose of this video and what affects us as men. I want to talk to you about dangerous facts about the women from these uh, three countries. You hear a lot of people saying uh, about how beautiful they are and they look like supermodels and you can go to a grocery store and see one uh, dressed like she's going to a wedding. Absolutely true, yes. However, they are beautiful mostly because they attend to themselves more than an average woman does. They wear makeup and clothing and shoes on a typical day like a normal woman would when she's going to a wedding. And an average woman in the West just doesn't do that. And the reason Russian girls, Nor Ukrainian, Belarusian girls do that is because their sole purpose and ultimate goal in life is to look their very best every day so they can find a man who will take care of them. Unlike uh, women in the West who are, want to have an education and you actually use that education to, uh, to get a job and, and, and succeed. And of course, they also want, every woman wants to marry a man that'll, that'll take care of them. But this is very different with Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian women. They are, they have, uh, they have fine-tuned this to an art, dressing like, uh, and not, again, and what a normal woman does to go to a wedding on an, ev on an everyday <laughs> basis, habitually, for the purpose that I've just told you. And as far as foreign men go, you know, if you go to Russia, uh, Ukraine, Belarus, and you cannot find a woman, there is something very wrong with you. Because believe me, all you have to do is show your face and have a pulse and be not from there. Because they look at foreign men as ATMs, walking ATMs. They look at men as... and. Uh, as someone who is going to take care of them and especially if you're foreign they look at you as a ticket out and a an, uh, passport potential uh, everything you heard is true a lot of men uh, some of them know it some of them have a suspicion about it but a lot of them don't know it and uh, they act like uh, you know they um, the woman is really in love with them and that uh, so suddenly, for some reason, this 22-year-old man has fallen madly in love with this 55-year-old uh, man with a pot belly. No, they simply do not care about how you look, as long as you serve the purpose, which is you're a foreigner, you have a potential of marrying them and taking them away, rescuing them from their troubles, and you're not a drunk, <laughs> which most native men from their countries are, and with no jobs. Another dangerous fact about women from Russia, Ukraine, and uh, Belarus is that they are glued to their mother. And wherever they go, they will, not in the beginning, because they don't want to scare you, but they will eventually, if you marry them, whatever, they want their mother nearby and up to and including that mother living with you. And once that mother is living with you and they have a child, you will just basically become a sideline, an accessory, uh, like an engine in a car that takes you to where you want to go, but you don't necessarily have to look at it. You will be just a, a, a necessary a tool, if you will, that's there to bankroll her life and uh, pay for her children and provide a shelter for her, her child, and her mother. Another absolutely important I would probably place it as the most important fact about Russian Ukrainian Belarusian woman is that they are extremely secretive they will withhold information like you won't believe they hide things that don't even matter that an average person in the West doesn't even care about up to and including their name yes you heard me correctly they will even hide their name from you so anything she says assume that it's not true and the things that she does tell you believe about 25 to 30 percent of them knowing 
that she's withholding 70% of the information from you. And, you know, this is not about some global espionage information that they're keeping from you. Basically, and nearly 99.9% .9 of the times, it's the fact that other men in their life, looking for other men in their life, other men that they're holding, you know, uh, in orbit, nearby, just in case, for, to, for the purpose of securing their security, basically. That is all they want. That is their ultimate goal. And everything they do, including their annoying secrecy, is towards that purpose. They want, their ultimate goal is to secure a man who's a provider and who will bankroll their life. Uh, the next thing I want to talk to you about, about the dangers of uh, women from Russia, Ukraine, and uh, Belarus, is that they lie. This ties into the, the previous subject we just talked about. Not only they withhold information, but they lie. They lie about their other men in their life, their past history. You can bet your bottom dollar that you do not know where she's been up to the time that you met her. She's going to have a long, colorful history that you will never know about. You could put a gun to her head and she will not tell you. Uh, the next thing is they do not, Russian women, Ukrainian women, generally they say Eastern European, but especially these Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian women, they do not age well. They look very good when they're young, up to about 30, 32, 3, but then they suddenly drop like a rock. If you don't believe me just look at those famous babushkas where do you think they come from mars <laughs> you know gentlemen you're gonna hear the truth from me unvarnished there are a lot of these desperate men who suddenly f think like they've discovered gold they've had terrible luck with women mostly pushover guys in the western world they go they hear they fall for these agencies uh in in uh, ukraine belarus russia uh, marriage agencies who bring these uh, women and uh, it's really nothing more than a scam they lie to you they tell you what you want to hear believe me first of all i would 100 percent avoid any agency in those any marriage agency dating agency in those countries you do not need them for the simple fact that you do not need them go to any restaurant go to any bar Go to any cafe, walk down any street, go to any store. There are women everywhere. The ratio of women to men is three to one. You do not need to pay some agency to pre present these fake women to you with their fake history in an, un in an artificial setting where you go and in a very uncomfortable setting where they're there for the purpose of uh, finding their ticket out. Why would you want to uh, humiliate yourself by putting yourself in that situation? Don't do it. You do not need it. I hope uh, that uh, this has uh, helped you. And um, one last thing I want to tell you about Russian, Ukrainian, and Belarusian women is that when they're uh, when they've uh, made up their mind about you and uh, they're they're you know they're they've selected you as someone that they want to acquire, they will shower you with compliments. They will tell you how great you are, how attractive you are, how nice you dress, how handsome you are, what beautiful eyes you have. They love your accent. They love your car. They love your house. They love your watch. They love your hands. They will tell you everything that makes you feel like you are the, the uh, Adonis, that you are the most attractive, handsome, unique man in the world. And it's all fake and phony. It's all it's in the culture. I am not saying that they're bad people. But it's in their culture to shower the man that they've selected with compliments. And they are not genuine. These compliments are not genuine. And you know how you know it's true? The moment they uh, no longer deem you as their ticket out or as an appropriate man or they find somebody else, they will drop you like yesterday's newspaper. Suddenly, all of that will stop. Now... Many people will criticize me. Many of you will not like what, I'm, uh, what I have told you. But believe me, truth is harsh. And still with all that I've said, if you want to go there to those countries and enjoy them for the short term and have fun with them, go right ahead. I would do it too. 
but don't marry them and bring them back to your own country thinking they're going to be the same. You know, if you're there, even if you insist on marrying, I'm not going to tell anyone marry or not marry, but even if you, if you insist on marrying, at least do it there and stay there. Because over there, they have to be on their best behavior. Because deep down inside, they know you have unlimited options. But when you bring them to the West, then you've got the entire law, marriage laws of the West working against you. Why would you want to do that to yourself? Gentlemen, I hope this has helped you. You can, uh, you can expect to hear the unvarnished truth from me, Seymour, here. And uh, I look forward to talking to you next time.